What I think is amazing about the Wachowskis is that they have this innate ability to create an entire universe from their mind. Okay, here we go. So cool to see the characters that have come in from the past and the new characters that have been introduced and how they've come together to make this new universe. Why should I trust you? The first day of training, everyone getting together, getting to know each other, and then, well, how you feeling today, and who are you, and oh yeah, I saw you in that, and that's pretty cool. Seeing him there in his costume, and hearing the voice, and hearing him say the dialogue, it was such a surreal moment. It was really intimidating because you're standing next to like, you know, Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss, who have done some of the greatest fight sequences in film history. Keanu was like, oh, that move that you did with your guns was so cool. Pinch me! Let's get bloody and start shooting. <laughs> Early last year, I heard something floating around about this Project Ice Cream, Project Ice Cream, and I was like, what, what is that? Um, and I got a phone call saying, Lana Wachowski wants you to fly to Berlin to test. How can you say no? How can you say no? And action. A long time ago, you changed my life. Bugs is a fan of Neo. She's one of us. It's so meta. She's having the pinch me fan moment that I feel like the audience will be having. If you want the truth, Neo, you're going to have to follow me. When we began, we were really into making Bugs very spry and fast, close to the ground, faster than everyone else, really snappy. She is the commander of the Nemesis with a ragtag crew. We're kind of like this little group of misfits. They're kind of freaks. We have Berg and Lexi. They always finish each other's sentences. And we have Seek, who is techie and who is guiding me through almost every scene when I'm in the Matrix to tell me, go left, there's a door on your right, just keeping me alive and safe from the agents. We find Morpheus trapped in the body of Agent Smith. Agent Smith? One of the things about this film is that there's many more characters who are on a journey of self-discovery along with Neo. Morpheus is also on a journey to figure out who he is. Be able to play a character who can inhabit different bodies and different forms and different worlds. Welcome to the crib. It's very exciting, oftentimes confusing, uh, but I know that I'm in good hands. We have a complex character called an exomorph, which is the form that Morpheus takes in the real world now. You know, we construct a face that we're gonna capture from Yaya himself. Doesn't it seem crazy to come all this way and leave her here? Lawrence Fishburne, he was so iconic to step in. It has been a very surreal experience for me. You call this a choice? Getting to offer the pills was sick. That was one of those moments when I'm looking and I'm saying, oh, these are the pills. If you want out, you'll take this pill. It was one of the cooler days on set. Time to fly. There would be some times where Yaya's sitting down in the seat and Lawrence is on the screen and he mimics Lawrence perfectly. And you, just watching it, you're like, yeah, yeah, that's right. It was such a magical moment. I think until we were all sitting there and looked up, we did not understand the magnitude and the magnificence of being on this project. I've done a lot of things in my life. One thing I haven't done is the big action movie with the big wires and the guns and the stunts. Sadly, the analyst just gets punched a few times. We don't want anyone to get hurt, do we, Thomas? It's been interesting in trying to craft how to play this guy as an actor, because I really don't want my presence in the first part of the movie. I don't want you to think, oh, wait a second, I think that analyst is more than meets the eye. What's gonna happen to him? Turns out in my matrix, the worse we treat you, the more energy you produce. It's nuts. That five page monologue was, I think, the hardest I've ever worked in any film experience in my life. You could recite five pages of dialogue where you explain the history of everything in a very methodical way. Or I could say, 
kindly, like this is the world that we live in now. Or I could go off the rails and be Machiavellian and, and, and more in, I, I, crazier and louder. And those are all three valid choices. But it's been an interesting mental experience in a way that I think only The Matrix could provide. Billions of people just living out their lives. Oblivious. I always loved that line. It feels incredible to be Agent Smith. And I thought about the kind of parallels of the new relationship of Smith and the old Smith and the new Smith. It's new code, so it's a different... But sometimes I would think about a word or he always did a lot of gestures like of this with his hand or it's his like, you know, the thing that he did. I was surprised to get asked to play Agent Smith because I've never done an action movie uh, in my life. <laughs> Jonathan has never done any action sequences, but we shared such dedication and enthusiasm for that aspect of the storytelling. The first fight with Keanu and the first time I fought with him, I felt nervous for that. But it's sort of like you're looking at people in a pool, what are they doing, and then you get in the pool and then you're just in it. I know you. We met a long time ago. Satie's one of my favorite characters from the trilogy. She's one of those characters that Lily and Lana had ramped up that is bigger than the number of screen minutes they have. And all of us wanted to see her again. I felt the responsibility of the fact that Sati's character was carried through the trilogy to now. And I love discovering that Sati has a certain calm about her because she's in control. She has been waiting for this day for a really long time. I think that there's a quiet strength in it. And it's very reflective of Lana as a person, actually. You know, she has a quiet strength about her. Anna has really written these very rich roles. There's so much about like memory in the making and in the living of these characters for me. The experience of this entire movie for me with the fighting and the rain and the guns, <laughs> that was very fun to play. Very sensitive piece of equipment. <laughs> It's like the opportunity of a lifetime to be a part of a franchise that was such a big part of your adolescence. It's a deep honor to be a part of it. To get to sit and observe would be a dream for anyone. To get to participate in it, that's just, it's been a crazy gift. I took the red pill, man. I'm glad I made that choice. <laughs>